Well, hey there, my name is Mikhail, and I am the inventor and the, uh, the owner of the little Emberlit stove. This started as a project in my garage, uh, just because I wanted one. I'm an insufferable tinker. My friends call me a monkey with a screwdriver. So I, I made a stove that I wanted to take on backpacking trip. It also works really well for emergencies. The, the unique aspect of my stove is the fact that you can use very large, dense pieces of fuel. Uh, a lot of other twig burning stoves, the difficulty is you have to feed them with small bits of debris and little sticks and twigs. And the, the problem that I find with that is they tend to flare up and then die back down and flare up and die back down. And you're constantly fidgeting and having to take care of your stove rather than focusing on cooking. And that's the part that I like. Um, with this, you get your stove going with a small bit of flame, a uh, small bit of fuel, and then you put these large sticks in there. And because these sticks burn very evenly and consistently, because they're, you know, they're big, thick, heavy fuel, um, you get a very even and consistent flame. It gives you very quick burn times, very easy cooking, minimal maintenance, low smoke, low flame. Um, and as, these, as the ends of these sticks, uh, as they turn to ash, you just feed them in ever so, ever so gently. Um, this is enough wood to cook for almost half an hour with this little stove. Um, debris, like chopped up two by four or, or uh, surveyor stick, this is enough wood. I probably need one more stick, but it's enough to take this little kettle to boiling. It takes about eight and a half, nine minutes in my experience to reach a boil of a liter of water in this little kettle with that little amount of wood. Um, the beauty of these stoves is you never need to carry fuel. Uh, they use what's readily available and free, and they use it in a very efficient manner. It allows you to make a very discreet fire. It doesn't put out a lot of uh, light. It doesn't put out a lot of uh, smoke, if any. And it's very quick and efficient. You can have a meal cooked and your stove put away in 20 minutes. Um, in addition to it, well, primarily they burn wood as their fuel. They're also able to use things like sternos, alcohol stoves, candles, um, anything that you can burn and you can put in this stove, it will act as a pot holder to keep it above that flame and you can utilize it in that way if, uh, if it's a little bit more convenient for you. Uh, my wife, she loves making uh, s'mores with charcoal briquettes inside the stove. But um, the best part about it is they're small, they're compact, they're made of stainless steel. I have a titanium version available. Um, and this was you know, coming out here real soon. Uh, but the idea is you can put this in your car, you can put this in your pack, you can put it in your bug out bag or in your 72 hour kit and you can make a hot meal for your family using the debris that you find on the side of the road. Uh, you can make a hot meal for, for your family using the tree that knocked out your power. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, you have an option to, to take advantage of what's already there. So when the fuel runs out, when you're out of propane and you're out of sternos, you still have a way to make sure that you can cook hot food. Um, if you'd like more information on my stove, please go to emberlit.com. That's e www.emberlit.com, emberlit.com. And uh, it's got more information on my stoves. It has links to more of my YouTube videos. And uh, it's also a place where you can, you can order a stove for yourself. So thank you very much.